Now this video is prescribed for you family members that uphold pedophiles. And it's also prescribed for you pedophiles. So, many of y'all have relatives, cousins, uncles, daddies, brothers, sons, daughters, that are pedophiles. And you keep it hid. You sweep it under the rug. Okay? And in so many words, you uphold it. And you know that he, normally as a he, have been molesting children. And you don't even force them uh report them to the officials to become a registered sex offender. Now, to me, you just as guilty. Now, if you know that a family member, if you know that a family member been doing stuff like this, listen to the inner voice. With, well, some of y'all ain't got no God frequency. But just try to do the right thing. And, you know, we all got them family members. Ain't nobody family no better than the next. Okay, how much y'all try to come down on somebody else's family? Just think for a while. I guarantee you, you can think of somebody in your family that's throw it off. Whether it be a crackhead, a drunk, a pure, just straight up idiot. Okay, so can't nobody talk about nobody. But there's degrees to this. When you're dealing with a pedophile, you're dealing with the lowest of the low, a predator that prey on the innocent that can't defend themselves. You know, we talking about children, babies. So you're dealing with a predator and the children are the prey. And guess what y'all are? The ones that uphold these family members, try to keep them head, you know, because you know somebody want to take their head off because they didn't found out about them. Y'all like, y'all promoting them. Y'all basically promoting them. Because you, you, you upholding it. Now I want y'all to take a deep look within yourselves. Especially if you guilty of this. Either you be, whether you be a pedophile or one of them low lies, such as the pedophile too, that upholds these pedophiles. Now, we got this pedophilia stuff going all over, all abroad. They even trying to make it legal. Because we know that the Caucasians' history in the Greek culture is just written in all types of pedophilia and homosexuality. There is no escape around this. And the elite still practice that same culture in secret. So this is why it is upheld. It also... Um, this homosexuality stuff is a means of depopulating the population. So you can read Behold the Pale Horse by William Cooper, where Cooper shows it, documents of where this is what this is this was their agenda back in the 70s. They have things such as trade centers being hit and homosexuality and AIDS and all this stuff. All this stuff is already and advanced orchestrated. So they they have like this stuff planned out 40 years in advance of what they're going to do. This is why everything is staged. Y'all don't even get it. So I'm going to be making a video based off that. Using documents about the agenda of the homosexuality. Agenda. But back on you, you, you pedophiles and you upholders of pedophilia. I know we live in a, in a society that you can get away with anything depending on what category it is. Like you can walk, walk around half naked at the beach. But if you walk in a, in a store with a bathing suit on, you're liable to go to jail. So, and, and you can prostitute. As long as you making porn and got some type of license. But you can't prostitute just in the street. So you can do everything you want to do over here in America. And get away with it if you do it the right way. 
So it is with these homosexual folks, transgenders, okay? And they trying to make it where the pedophiles can do the same thing. Now, we all know right from wrong. At least I think we do. Some of us just absolutely stupid to the highest degree. So, but it should be common sense that we know what's right and wrong. But since we have a corrupt system and people in power that is corrupt, for anybody to legalize something of that standard, whether it be homosexuality or pedophilia, this shows that they are with the fuckery. See, we live in a world that is good is bad and bad is good. You know, people listen to whatever they want to listen to, you know, music. But now today, the music is so dumb, especially when it comes to black culture, when it comes to rap. All they talk about is sex, screwing somebody old lady, drugs, um, and money and flashy things. And, and it goes to your subconscious unknowingly because the majority of us have no knowledge of the subconscious and how it works. And then in return, we get stupid junk. You know? We get a bunch of stupidity. And this is like the new, it's like a new religion. In a way it is. The music is. And this music frequency is a low vibrational frequency. Otherwise, we won't get low vibrational uh, effects. Just something to think about. So uh, uh, a lot of people... They don't even speak out against things like this. You know, pedophiles, and homosexuality, you know. Eventually, the pedophiles are going to have power coming from the system that the homosexuals have today. Today is so bad till you can say something about a homosexual because they have so much rights because the ones that's in power are homosexuals, you can wind up being sued uh something of that that uh uh you know shit nature or whatever so this is the system that we live in today it is totally corrupt it's rotten inside and you can see it on the outside and the inside is the ones behind it that's making these laws, that are legalizing these laws. And in return, our children are corrupted by it. And we got to deal with it. And then you got all the scared niggas out there. Okay. And whoever it may be, they scared to speak out against it. If you don't even speak out against it, you don't even stand a chance on changing it. Scared of everything. Scared to speak out against what's right. You, you, you ain't even worth living when you like that. You might you just useless. You on autopilot. You just going with the flow, living just to be living. Don't stand for nothing. Not even righteousness. Oh, simple stuff. Now, I felt this video was useful just based off common sense. But some of us ain't got common sense. And uh, sometimes you just got to talk about it a little bit to try to jumpstart some brain cells in people's head that should already be there, that should already be awoken. But apparently some of them ain't awoken. But until then, start speaking out against foolishness. Make it known. Expose people like this. Peace.